Hello everyone and welcome back to my Shinaka 2 video. Uh, this is the fourth time I'm trying to record this video. The first two times I started coughing. The third time I was like on fire so it was really loud. Anyways, I'm going to talk about why I think all people are good. Now, this might be kind of a random topic, but I think I should be comfortable talking about any topic I kind of wanted to. I initially wanted to talk about some other topic, but this one kind of was like, oh, diamonds. I was like, okay, this is not a bad topic, so I'm going to talk about it. That was a long intro. Anyways, I think all people are good. Now, what does this mean? I think this is actually one of the core tenets of my philosophy axioms, which might sound a bit pretentious, but I think I have a couple um, things I believe in very firmly that I can maybe form a core belief system on or something like that. Anyways, I think at birth, every single human being, maybe a very rare few, like 99.9%, .9%, I would say, I would go that far to say, 99% of human beings are good. 0 0.9, 99.9% .9 of human beings are born good. Maybe there's a small 0.01% that is not born good. But almost all human beings are born good. Now, why are there so many bad people in this world? Why do people steal? Why do people cheat? Why why, why is our world so horrible? If all, all, all people are as good as you proclaim them to be, Shnukka too. Well, here's the thing. All people are born good. But that doesn't mean all people <coughs> are good. So I like to think of it as this. This is an alternative way of stating it. Basically, let's say you had murder... A. Okay, fine. Let, let's use something less severe. Let's say you had Thief A. Alright? And then Good Samaritan B. Okay? Thief A, Good Samaritan B. This is the most extreme example I can think of. <coughs> Sorry. If you have Thief A and Good Samaritan B. And now, Thief A was born into a bad environment with poverty, didn't have um, a very good education so and so well good samaritan a was born into a um very good environment good education so and so forth influence of good parent figures whatever whatever right now the thing is i believe that if either okay there's also environment a and environment b which correspond to like thief a and good samaritan b right environment a was a bad environment which thief a grew up in and um, environment B is the bad environment. Um, uh, uh, environment B is the good environment that the Good Samaritan B grew up in. Whatever. You guys get what I mean. The thing is, I think if both of them had grown, grown up in... If anyone grows up in a good environment, then they should become good people. Because people are inherently good. That is my core belief. Right? And so, that also contributes to my core belief that, like, People should be given a second chance. Not only that, but secondly, uh, you shouldn't be, I guess, too quick to make judgments about people. Because I, I think one thing I've realized this year, uh, trying to talk to more people, and um, is that like, no one's mean. Like very rarely will you meet a very like mean nasty person everyone's generally very very nice like i think everyone at their core like by human nature are built to be very understanding very caring very compassionate kind <coughs> people and the reason why some people are not that way on the outside is that they have some thing that troubles them on the inside or is really Something that you don't know. Right? Even, like, the worst of worst people. There's a reason for their madness or their animosity. Like, okay, th this is might be a bad example or a controversial example. But let, let's take racist people. Okay? I'm obviously not trying to defend racist people. That's not good. Being racist is always so bad. But the thing is... How many racist people, let's say, what is the cause of racism? Misinformation, maybe. 
maybe growing up in a household that promoted racism, right? Um, so on and so forth. If they were born in an environment that did not uh, have racist promoted kindness, more uh, generosity, more willingness to accept others, would they have been the same pe per person as they, they... Oh my gosh, I got boomerang so much. Would they be the same person as... What? What is going on? They are today. I, I don't think so. So yeah. I guess that's my point. And this also leads into another discussion I was thinking about, about like fairness in life and whether or not you have free will and like how that affects like, cause the thing is, okay, I'll just stop it here. This is enough for one day. But my principle is like people and the world generally, I think are harsher on the surface than it seems to really be like, if you find any person on the street, no matter from where, no matter what background, I think at the core, they're all just a very good person. Maybe my view on the world is too optimistic, but I believe that barring, like by human nature, it is impossible for someone to be born unkind. It is only the environment around them that causes them to be unkind. And is there a way to prevent that environment from them being kind? I don't think so. It's very difficult to do that. But in the ideal world, I think everyone is a very kind person. And everyone can still ha get a second chance at turning back and becoming a kind person, no matter like what environment they faced. That is my belief. Maybe it is too naive. What do you guys think? Please leave it down below in the comments. I don't know. This was a more of a serious video, I guess. Um, I know RD doesn't really like these serious videos, but whatever. Who cares about RD? No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, tell me what you guys think. Sorry. Oh, <coughs> my cough is getting kind of bad, but hopefully I'll be okay. I'll definitely be okay. Anyways, thank you guys for watching so much. Make sure you like and subscribe. Subscribe to my main channel. Show my Discord. Like the video if you liked it. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.